Structurally, it's, it's sound. Yeah. And there's no leaks. There's holes in the floorboards, but there's no holes in the walls or the... There is where the aircon was. <laughs> What is 99 New Beginnings? I'm glad you asked. The project will see us open up a series of non-for-profit barbershops made from repurposed shipping containers. The barbershops will then offer apprenticeships to at-risk youth, offering them the training and support they need to complete a trade. The pop-up shops will then be placed in a location where you can come to us for a haircut. Each week, we're going to be following co-founders Danielle and Teresa, along with a heap of volunteers, as we turn this dream into a reality. So who are Danielle and Teresa? This powerful duo founded the Jack Reed Foundation after launching their first project, A Thousand Haircuts for the Homeless, in 2017. Two Queensland barbers have set a goal of giving a thousand free haircuts to the homeless by the end of the year. They've launched a mobile salon to bring their service to the state's most disadvantaged people. It's a trailer with a difference. This retro-styled, purpose-built mobile barber shop is designed to bring some much-needed pampering to those living rough. Come on over. You are the very first customer. It's really important, I think, for us in terms of making sure that people get that opportunity, no matter who you are, to just kind of take 10, 15, 20 minutes out of your life, just sit down, relax in a kind of authentic environment where you're just yeah. like everyone else. You know, And when you walk out, you feel a bit better about yourself. They reached their goal within nine months and have continued to volunteer their time to the project ever since. When she's not giving her time to the foundation, Danielle runs a barbershop on the Redcliffe Peninsula, just north of Brisbane, while Teresa is the CEO of a community housing organisation on Brisbane's Bayside and serves on several industry boards. And that brings us to their new project, 99 New Beginnings. We were going to use shipping containers and convert them into pop-up barbershops. Amazingly, we were donated a demountable. And as you're about to see, the girls have discovered it needs its own new beginning. Remember how we said we were going to get that really schmicko shipping container to have our barbershop run out of? Yeah. I want you to think of that. And this is what I got. <laughs> Come and have a look. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> She's the uh, ugly duckling, hey? Yeah, yeah. You gotta have uh, you can have to have some serious imagination with this one. Um, we've got a lot of cosmetic work. I think that's so when you first look at it you go, holy dooly, what are we doing? This is gonna be a huge amount of work. Um, so she's three metres wide by 12 long, so she's got heaps of space okay. and heaps of stuff on the outside for power, things like that. Yeah. So... <laughs> oh, and a couple of uh, insulation holes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's aircon before, you know. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So our original idea was to get a 40-foot shipping container yes. and effectively we've got a 40-foot site office. So yeah. the benefits of it being a site office versus the shipping containers, they look exactly the same, but one's insulated i.e. The, the side off is insulated and that's a huge difference because yeah in a shipping container you lose a lot of space once you add the insulation in. so that's the big bonus of this one um, and that you know that means that we've got a lot less work to do yeah. sort of <laughs> um and more ventilation yeah smash windows no this was carefully cut <laughs> with a diamond <laughs> nice okay uh yeah yeah we wow yeah Wow. So yeah, if you just get past how ugly it is at the moment, I mean pretty, I, I can love you. see it, it's, it'll, yeah. it has potential. But, like today's a really hot day and yeah. you step inside there and it's half yeah, the degrees is cut out it, just it like is. that. It just smells like mould. <laughs> in you come. Um, I've had the cleaners in as you can see. <laughs> I love this it. This is book sign in. All right. All right. Not too shocked? 
Happy? I love it. All right, I this love it. is going to be a barbershop. Yep. yep. So two rooms <laughs> at the end, either end. So what were you thinking? Uh, I'm thinking one room should be an office slash training area and one room should be your wet room. So what do you think here? Wet area? I think so because it's it's the biggest room, like yeah, in right. space wise. Yep. Prep yourself, this is the worst room, I think, and it's probably indicative of kind of how much work we've got to do. Okay. All right, so yep. it's got shit everywhere. Okay. Yeah, there you go. So, oh, wow. Yep. Okay. So the water's really done heaps of damage here. Um, you oh, it's gone floor. straight through the floor. floor. Yeah, so you can get <laughs> the floor underneath for That's the damage That's cool. Today. Okay, so, wow. So okay. this is kind of like... Probably you know. a tad more work than what we were <laughs> expecting. We would, uh, the plan was to have enough money, we'd get this shipping container and deck it out from scratch. So we've got, we've got this ugly duckling, maybe, yeah. that has turned into maybe a little bit more hands-on and... Um, yeah. But we can polish this, this is unreal. Like, we... Oh, that aircon units, their holes in the walls, that they can be filled. They yeah. can either be filled or another aircon unit comes in there. But at least we have this base. And you know, it's insulated it's through yeah. the floor, walls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could fix that table. <laughs> oh, I could. I could. You couldn't. <laughs> yeah, cool. A bit okay. Of sticky tape, maybe some paper mesh. That That's where I fix that kind of stuff. We just be careful when we have people on site as well because someone's going to go through that. So we just be careful about all that stuff. So not quite the flooring I was hoping for, but anyway. It's all right, just don't wear heels. <laughs> That's so it looks worse than it is. I think structurally fine. There's no leaks. There's holes in the floorboards, but there's no holes in the walls or the... There is where the aircon was. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's holes in the, yeah, where the aircon was. But there's no holes in the roof, anything like that. Yeah. So it'll seal back up nicely. But, have the girls spoken too soon? Next time on 99 New Beginnings, the professionals give us their expert opinions on the demountable. Pretty rough. But I think there's a lot of work here to be done. Want to help get the 99 New Beginnings project off the ground? You can get involved by becoming a member of the Jack Reed Foundation. Or, why not make a donation or even become a sponsor? For full details, head to our website, jackreedfoundation.org. And to stay up to date with our project, follow us on social media and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time on 99 New Beginnings, The Renovation. <laughs>